Hey everyone, um, I think many of you who subscribe to this channel already know me. Uh, my name is Dmitry Tumanov uh, and today I want to talk about aquatic log. So uh, today is November 16. A couple of days ago I've sent out an email and I've uh, made a decision that um, took a while to percolate but basically I've decided after seven years of um, writing and developing uh, aquatic log um, service I've decided to basically make it free to uh, public at least uh, I'm gonna give it um, until 2021 uh, before I'll consider making any uh, other changes so uh, about seven years ago um, when I have got into saltwater hobby uh, pretty deep uh, the deep end um, I've realized that um, one of the most important aspects of the hobby, at least to me, is the um, keeping an eye on water chemistry. We all know that if you have a reef aquarium and your uh, alkalinity, uh, you don't know where your alkalinity is at, uh, most likely you're not going to be successful with even basic corals. There are exceptions even to this rule, but overall I think that uh, sentiment still stands. Now. What I um, did uh, at that time was I looked at, um, you know, what are the ways that hobbyists were keeping track of their uh, parameters and at that time, other than a couple of Excel spreadsheets, there was really nothing. Uh, so I rather quickly built a, a website. Um, I've uh, had some help from one of, uh, you know, very prominent reefers at the time, uh, Brad Urbanek. Um, some of you may remember uh, his uh, his viewpoints aquarium and a few others but basically he was a, a bit more seasoned in reefing and he helped with uh, a few ideas on um, uh, he helped to basically um, shape the some of the requirements uh, for the first version of the website uh, since then I've uh, you know I'm a programmer by trade and I really enjoy uh, this so this was perfect this was my hobby and I was um, I am really enjoying uh, programming as well uh, and I still do so basically this was my outlet to uh, code something up uh, on a weekend um, that basically helped me with my uh, tanks I've gone through probably four or five tanks since, since then uh, and also just you know be regimented and, and, and successful with uh, my corals. Um, again if you uh, look at some of the uh, videos uh, that I've shot before you can see uh, you know my previous tank and the one before that um, I think half of that success I, I owe to Aquatic Log because uh, that helped me be really uh, diligent about my water parameters and just stay on top of it. So, what happened, uh, maybe four or five years ago, I realized that a lot of people wanted uh, mobile uh, applications, so immediately I went with um, a native solution, as opposed to just writing like an app and uh, trying to port it into different languages. I uh, studied and learned, uh, you know, programming for Android, as well as uh, the first version of uh, iPhone, and which was uh, Objective C, and then since then Swift. Um, but basically, it was a, it was a fun learning experience, and uh, over time, uh, both apps have taken on even more time and more usage by uh, all of you uh, aquarists out there. So uh, I I still support all three: so Android, web, and uh, iPhone. Um, I personally use an iPhone, so maybe that's why I'm a little bit more biased uh, towards that. One day I'll switch to Android and then I think it will get a little bit more loving. But um, basically throughout all these years I've tried to um, come up with a good um, uh, monetization strategy so that um, you know it at least upsets uh, all of the um, everything that I spent on hosting it's not cheap so basically I got hundreds uh, of users logging in every day uh, so and there's images there's everything else uh, unfortunately that costs money that I have to pay myself um, so all of your payments helped with that 
and uh, you know it's also good to motivate somebody to uh, support a service not for one or two years but you know how soon it's, it's, it's gonna be uh, end of seven years so I think that's a very good milestone in, in this world so uh, but over time I think the finance models have uh, changed there's a lot of companies that have either a lot more money um, uh, behind them or um, you got you know the younger generation of uh, developers that maybe don't have families that don't have other um, you know um, uh, other ways to uh, spend their weekends um, so you know you cannot really compete a lot of times with that so after a while I've decided that um, I'm gonna make it free there's still um, uh, sponsors uh, there's a few companies that sponsor um, my work so I really appreciate that so big shout out to uh, Ecotech, Aqua Illumination and uh, NIOS and uh, Polyplab um, and uh, there's been many other companies in the past and I'm sure there's going to be more in the future so again if you um, can think of uh, a company that uh, you want to uh, reach out to say hey uh, you know look at the aquatic log I'd be very grateful also um, if you want to support um, uh, me directly uh, I'm gonna put a link uh, both in the notes of, of this video as well as on the website for the PayPal uh, account so again um, if you feel like buying me a coffee and I do like my coffee or um, uh, you know anything else it's gonna go straight to me there's nobody else and I promise that um, I'll be uh, using this money on uh, anything reef related so basically um, you know the tank behind me all the corals everything else uh, it would not be possible without aquatic log as well so overall I hope that all of you are enjoying um, the app um, recently I've upgraded the iPhone application to support dark mode and it was a fun experience and again uh, I really enjoy programming so um, I'm gonna continue doing it uh, in the foreseeable future just because this is something that I like to do um, but uh, I appreciate um, all of my uh, customers and, and, and just users uh, and a lot of you, uh, I really am a big fan of your aquariums. So I follow a lot of aquariums on Aquatic Log. Also, if anybody wants to see my aquariums, including uh, this aquarium behind me, uh, just search for DTUM, so D-T-U-M, and you'll see every single tank that I've owned, as well as all of my current tanks, and there's a few. So, um, hope that that clarifies a few things, and... Um, I must say that in the last two days when I've just made this announcement, I uh, was overwhelmed with the feedback. There was so many emails in my mailbox uh, from all of you saying thank you. There's been a few uh, people that uh, chose to support as well. I think I might do a few cool things for those people as well. Um, I don't want you just to uh, you know, send me a few bucks and get nothing in return, other than knowing that you support this, so uh, stay tuned. So this is uh, an aquatic log video, there's um, going to be a few more uh, updates on the tank in the back, there's uh, uh, quite a few things I want to say, uh, that, so stay tuned, oh, and uh, if you want, subscribe. Cheers.